Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. Today we're going to be getting ready for a boss fight. So we have our pair of greater UDs from the Paleo mod that we teamed up quite a few videos ago. We got a very good breeding pair. Somebody accidentally left them on mating while they were building an underwater base for two days. And we have a bunch of eggs. <laughs> I think it was like 60 or 70 eggs I hatched up. So we're going to be getting those guys ready. And then we need to get them saddles. And we've got some of them have mutations. So we'll take those out. Take a look at them. See what they are. I don't know if we're going to do anything with breeding later on trying to get the good stats but the main thing i'm looking for are colors so we'll take a look at that i also wouldn't mind if we have time setting up some more of these snails i have them in there i just need to set them out we'll put a hitching post and either three or four more we'll have to see what fits i don't want them blocking the door right so if we can only do two then we'll do two but we'll kind of go with that and then as for making the saddles we're gonna need a ton of hide and stuff we got a bunch up there i was doing some more scouting over in asgard for another rex and I found another titanosaur. But let me show you something. So I know there's another titanosaur. It fell in front of me in the exact same place the last one was that we killed. It doesn't show up on the scanner. So the only thing that shows on the scanner is the realm that you're in. So if we want to scan for stuff over in Asgard, we have to be in Asgard. Same with Vanaheim. You have to be over there. It's kind of weird. Kind of sucks. I thought this would be a central place to scan and see what's around. It's not the case, though. This guy, I was doing a little bit of berry harvesting, wanted to use something I haven't used in a long time, and totally forgot about this dude. It was a pain to tame, it's kind of why we don't ever do anything with him, I don't want to lose him. However, I do kind of want to do a boss fight with him. So this round of boss fights, we're using the Yudi against the Broodmother, going to be using the Dwarf Allosaurs against the Megapithecus, and then the Dragon with the Kentros. That one will set up for the next round of boss fights, because we need to do enough to get some Alpha Fenrirs for bosses. So there's a lot of boss fights coming up. As for these, these are the ones that have the mutations. So we'll take a look at their colors, and then let me show you these, man. Like I said, we have a bunch, <laughs> a bunch of little ones. We'll grab 10 of each flavor, and then throw them out, get them raised up. We'll jump over whenever it becomes daytime. And I want to take the chainsaw up against the, the titanosaur, see how much of the hide that we get. So for this one, we have a stamina one, and we got some orange. I think these two were twins. They both got the same thing for stamina in the same colors. And then this one has movement speed, which doesn't really do anything. Again, just looking at colors. It's another stamina one. It's got red for field zero. Kind of weird. Extremely loud. Probably not going to like it, but we will see. This is one into oxygen. Again, just colors. This one has it into health. Kind of curious about that one. We'll have to see. That almost looks like the ones that are out there now, except for field five. Of course, it's different. And this one has it into two. We got two mutations on that one. We got movement speed. Again, does nothing, but we got a damage one. So if anything, we'll save this male. And then we'll probably save one of these females, or probably these two. It'll help out with getting our stats over. And then we'll replace our ones out there with them. So let's go ahead and see what the colors look like. Oh, dude. That's the color pattern we were looking for. It's kind of got like the orange and red, and then the blue. Wait, is that the same? Wrong one. So this is the original one that we kept. That was one of our original teams. So it's got a different feel. So it's got field 4. It's 44. And this one is 43. A little bit different. Different field as well. It's uh, 3 instead of 4. Interesting. Okay, well, I can get rid of this one then, because we've got two females. And they have mutations. Oh, dude, that is fantastic, man. Definitely keeping you. Definitely keeping you. Let's go ahead and throw this other one out. We're going to raise all of them up today and just kind of save them for later. This is the one that has the movement speed. Not liking it. <laughs> Don't like it at all. We'll definitely get rid of that one. I mean, we'll keep it for boss fights, but we just we won't put it in with our ones to keep for colors. So that one's the same as the ones we already got. Oh, the feet. The feet and the hands. Is that different? I think it is. Yep, those are kind of like a dark gray, almost grayish brown. And that one's green. Not a fan, but I think that's the one we need to keep for mutations, right? That's the one that has a double. It has the health. Okay, so we definitely need to keep him anyways. Let's put you up top here. And then this one's going to be... This is the other one that we need to keep. It has the one on the damage, so that's kind of a... Kind of a key thing there. 
Not too much. Oh, wait. It's got a different face. That's the first one we've seen that has a different color face because both of ours that we tamed the original had the blue, I think, right? Interesting. Kind of like it. Not a huge fan. But it's different. I like it, man. I like it. A little bit. Tiny bit. <laughs> I'm picky. This one isn't due oxygen. Probably not going to like it at all. Watch. Oh, it's another different one. So it's green. That one's like all camouflage. So it looks like their face is the same as the back of the tail, right? Kind of the same color fields and everything. Kind of interesting. I'm not a fan of green. It looks kind of neat. And this one has the... Oh, this is a wild colored one, huh? Holy crap, dude. We could see you from a mile away. That is nuts, man. I don't like it. <laughs> it is extremely loud. But kind of cool, though, in a way, right? We haven't really seen any that has a really loud belly like that. Ah, oh, buddy, I'm sorry, man. You are just... I wouldn't call you ugly. You're just... You're just not that good looking. How about we put it like that? So we'll go ahead... <laughs> we'll go ahead and raise it up. We're gonna keep these four. That one, this one, and these two. These two for the colors and the stamina. Wait a minute, this one might have... That's stamina too, right? No, that's the health one. Okay. So we got health, we got damage, and then we've got colors plus stamina. See, this is why I don't like doing too much on the breeding. I like the colors. I mean, that's hard enough to get changed over, but then you start adding in moving stats and stuff like that. Oh, dude, it is such a pain, man. But that kind of almost maxes out our health, right, at 43? Oh, that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and do a growth pulse. We'll get them raising up, and then that'll kind of leave us room. So we're going to set out 10 of each flavor of these guys. All right, so there's 10 of each of those. So we will be riding one. I don't know which one. It doesn't really matter. They're all going to be fairly the same. I guess we'll just start throwing them all out around here. That's a thing. They're going to be... <laughs> they're going to be all in the way. That's all right. As soon as we get them raised up, we will throw them in some soul traps. And then put them outside where the... There's more room, you know? It is about to be so loud around here with all these guys out. And I need to check our food trough, too. All these beauties, man. <laughs> it's the tails, dude. Oh, there's so many tails. All right, plenty of food. Plenty of food there. I didn't think about that being on the cooldown timer. That's going to be what? Ah, oh, three minutes. Let's make another one. We're going to have to have one for down in the underwater area anyways. I think we need... Which one is it? This one. We actually have enough stuff. I'm surprised. All right, let's put you, excuse me, pardon me, right here. Let's change your range. We'll just put it up to max, and that should get everybody on the outside. And we'll put some element in it. So you need to be on the one for growing. Causes nearby dinos. Okay, and then we'll pull this into our inventory. Well, let's just grab it out of here. Alright, so that should raise all these guys up. Right? Make sure we got a pulse. Everybody should be good. Yep, we're raising up. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of some of these before we get all kind of blocked in here. So we're going to keep you. And you. Yep, calm down, calm down! Oh, I forgot to check to make sure they're 100%. They are, we're fine. We're fine! Imprint is at 100, right? Where's the imprint on this? I don't know. Oh, at the bottom. Okay, we're good. They should have been fine. I just wanted to not pick them up and have them not be. And that last one we don't want to keep, right? I don't remember which is which. That's all right. We'll put them all into here. Let's make a new folder. I got too many folders. This is this is the problem with breeding, man. And these guys will kind of keep and just throw in with the mix for boss fights. Dude, we got so many in there. Holy crap, man. So that's the greater Udis. Y'all alright? There sure is a bunch of you. Holy crap, man. Alright, let's see about the... 
saddles, what all we're gonna need. I think we should be good on metal and stuff. Oh, silica pearls! That's a lot of pearls, man. That's what, 8,000 that we're gonna need? Six thousand. Oh, I tell you what, there's a ton down below. And he lifted up by tails. <laughs> All the first sticking up. Uh, we need about two thousand more. So there's a ton down by base. And Wingman's still down there. He wanted to do some swimming, so maybe we'll hop down there, pick him up, and I want to do some testing. I keep forgetting. Let's put it in our inventory right now. Whoa, whoa, that was super loud. Let's grab this. And you. And that is a clone, right? It is a clone. I want to throw it out, put them on our shoulder, and see what happens. Just saying. You never know. We can't take you, can we? We can't pick it up. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. Are right, you guys all ready? You are. Okay, so we're 100% on all these guys. So, I want to take a different creature over to take on the Titanosaur. We'll grab our shotgun, or not the shotgun, but the uh, chainsaw. And I want to see how much we get on the hide. So we got, I think it was 2,000 when we used the cat. We'll take the chainsaw and use that. And then, I think we're going to take some of the Reapers. Just to change stuff up. So we got two of them, right? Let's grab them both out. I think one of them doesn't have levels into them. We'll have to see. I'm not going to take that one. I'd like to take both, but... Yeah, this one's only got 22,000. You have a bunch of levels? You do! Alright, we're not, I'm not gonna take him. I don't wanna have to sit here and heal him up, because... He needs a lot of health. Be, you know, they don't have any saddles or anything. And this one should be fine. This is the ugly one. Ah, don't get mad, it's not your fault! I'm just not a fan of red. If I liked red, you would look fantastic. Alright, so you're good. So 60, 67,000 on that one will put all these into damage. I mean, that should be fine. It should be fine. It's, like I said, no saddle, but that much health. One Titanosaur, we should be alright. So let's take you. We'll put you up there. Put you down here. Yep, we're thirsty, of course. Alright, that is sorted out. Let's put you in here. And then these are the UDs. Ah, I didn't want to... They're all the same, doesn't matter. Put them all in there, we'll have two extra ones. Cool, so I think we're good. Let's jump over, let's grab our chainsaw. Put that away. We'll jump over. We'll grab our little bit of hide, come back here, try to make some saddles. Stop by and do our testing too with, uh, Wingman Jr. What are we looking for here? We're almost out of durability on that. That's fine. I'm going to trash it when that one's up because we have the other one that we'll be able to use. We'll take 10. That should be fine. All right, we good? I think we got everything that we need. Eat a little bit of food. All right, we've got that dude. We've got that for testing. We'll do a little bit of swimming. Our scuba stuff is already down there. Should be good. All right, cool. Let's jump down and we'll do the testing with Wingman for- Well, let's jump over and grab the... Titanosaur stuff before he despawns. Lovely Asgard morning. That is right until you spawn in with some raptors. Dude, it is super red around here. Buddy, stretch your little legs. I have not done anything with this guy in so long. I almost forget how to use him. Is that an alpha? It might be an alpha. It's gotta be an alpha. I couldn't see the glow because of... Oh, there was! Nice, we got some runes. Let's get rid of those. Let's put... Why could I not... That was super weird, man. It wouldn't let me grab it. Get rid of that, and that, and that. Another hat. <laughs> I kinda like the hats. But it gets old getting them all the time in your inventory. Let's drop all this prime meat. You're gonna have a ton of meat from the Titanosaur. Oh yeah, let's do our a little bit of testing here. So the scanner. Why is it not showing up on here either? Interesting. I mean, they obviously spawn here, seeing how that one dropped in front of us in the last time we were here, and then 
When I was out here looking for the Rex, dude, what is up with your jump? That is a very, very low jump. But yeah, and then this other one spawned in when I was looking for the Rex, so I don't know. I don't know why they're not showing up. Kind of weird. Anyways, let me get over here where it was. We'll try to take them out with the Reaper, grab our stuff, and then go pay Wingman a visit with Wingman Jr. Alright, so he was up over here. Yep, there he is there. Same place we killed the other one. I wonder why he's not showing up on the scanner. Kind of weird. Anyways, what level are you? I didn't see that. Level 5, so literally exactly like the other one. Slow you down a little bit, as if you're not slow enough. Uh-huh. You about to have a bad day, buddy. Sorry, right, you can stomp all you want. Yeah, we're doing massive amount of reduced damage. That kind of has me worried. So I was expecting to do more. We were doing 1,100 on the Reaper, or not the Reaper, the Raptor when we came in. Now we're doing 300. That's all that armor he's got, man. This is why I wanted to bring two, just in case. I don't think that does anything, right? Now let's see about our tail swipe. Only does 200, not much. I think I made the... <laughs> made the... The Wooly Mad, too. Ah, uh, now we're doing reduced damage because of him. Back up, buddy. Yep, slow down. Yep, that stomp, man. That stomp is no joke. Yep. So we did 1,100 to the Wooly. It's kind of weird how they get that reduction. He's not showing any signs of uh, blood either. Ah, oh, it's going to take a minute for this. Kind of worried about our health, not going to lie. So I have been munching on this guy for about seven minutes real time now. And he is still barely even bloody. I'm going to have to jump over and grab another team because, dude, it's this is embarrassing. <laughs> our Reaper is under half health already. We're down to... Yeah, we're, we're way under half. We're at 21,000 of 67,000 on the health. That is nuts, man. We didn't have this much problem with... The Rex and the Thyla, maybe because of the bleed on the cat? I don't know. Let's do this, man. Let's uh jump over and grab another team real quick. We've got to do this fast. Slow him down. Slow down, buddy. Oh, wait, wrong way. You need to slow your roll, man. Yep. Yep. Do not stomp on me. He like stepped on me and stayed there. Alright, let's do this. Let's uh. We need to do teleporter. Leave that really fast. We need to pick you up. Oh, dude, this is going to go bad. All right, so that wasn't sketchy at all. I'm just saying. <laughs> I did not expect it to go that bad with the Reaper. So, we're not taking you out again. I'm going to bust out with the big guns, man. Yep, we're not messing around now. Yep, I totally did not think about him being right there! Yep, 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 yep. What you gonna do now, huh? Wonder how much reduction we're gonna get with the Giga. He does around 4,000 normally. 2,000, okay. Oh, I don't want to use the... Unequip it. There we go. Alright, we need to not mess up and accidentally bite him too many times. He's doing 1,000 damage against our Giga! Holy crap, dude! How much health these guys got? It's gotta be a bunch. That cat must have done a lot of bleed damage on him. That's the only way that makes any sense. Please do not accidentally munch him when he dies. A thousand damage. Ah, oh, dude, that is nuts, man. Okay, okay, okay. Looking a little bit worse off. Of course, so are we. a bad idea. Oh, this whole thing was a bad idea! Okay, he's almost dead. So are we, though? What if we can stay back far enough? Because we have that big AoE, right? <gasps> there we go! Oh, dude, buddy, you are in very bad shape. Back up, man. Back up! It's my kill. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how much we get with the chainsaw. That was the whole point of today. Access inventory. Oh, I don't want that. Got tons of those, man. Dude, we almost lost the Giga on that, too. I was not stopping. If we lost the Giga, it's fine. We've got other ones. So there's 2,000. That's how much we got with the cat. All 
Are we? Oh, we're full! I was wondering if that was gonna happen. Oh, that is a ton. That is a ton more, man. If we can get about six or eight thousand off this, it'll so be worth it. I start the rest of this meat. We're gonna be overweight here too. Ah, dude, it, it kind of works out though, right? As much problem as we had taking this guy out. We're full again. Holy crap, man! That is a ton of high. What's that? Two, four, six, eight. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. How about seven? Almost eight thousand on the hide. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, man. Buddy, you all right? You're not looking too good. Yep, we almost lost him. He was down to about... What, 57, probably? Drop all that. I'll take that and that. Thank you. Let's pick you up. <laughs> take you back to base. Ah, dude, had a bad day, man. Let's jump over, we'll drop all this off, and then we'll go down and see Wingman. I totally forgot to bring a water team with me, too. Gotta love those ugly textures until they load in. So there's that. Yep, quite a bit of high, man. Oh, dude, so it was at 51,000, I think, whenever I looked. Yeah, about 9,000. That's not bad. Not bad at all, man. Pain to take out, though. <laughs> Definitely a pain. Alright, let's drop you off, and then... I don't have the pleasy here? Where's my pleasy? It must be over on Lost Island still? It's a Sarko. Let's take the Sarko with us. He's pretty fast. We're just grabbing pearls down there. All right, so, buddy, did you have a nice swim? I brought your... I really wouldn't call it your brother. I brought your twin? I guess we'll call it a twin? So let's see what happens, man. Let's pick you up. Well, let's take your hat off. Just in case something happens. All right, so we're down here. If we throw... Wingman off... What happens? You just fly up, huh? Where are you going to, though? I don't know. Let's go ahead and pick him up, though. Okay. Long as he doesn't die. That's the main thing I was worried about. Hello? Hello? Junior! There we go. <laughs> I was worried if I accidentally threw him off that he would die, and then we'd have problems. You know, die kind of like what's going to happen to us because I totally forgot about an air tank. Oh, I'll tell you what. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I know. Cool. So... That makes me feel better, though. Let's grab an ear tank. We should be good. Just need the one. And let's grab a little bit on the pearls. So I'm hoping we can outrun... Put that into... Do wait. I'm hoping we can outrun the Moses and stuff if we find them. We should be able to, but there was a bunch of them I thought back here. Yeah, there is. See, there's a ton of them around. So it won't be too hard to be able to grab the ones we need. I think we need, what, about 2,000 more? So, I mean, it's a bunch of those to farm, but there's a bunch of them around, too. So I'm going to go around here. If something happens, we'll come back. Otherwise, I'll see you when I collect all that we need. Kind of in a bad spot, not gonna lie. I got kind of closed in by a couple Moses. They don't have- Oh, yep! Okay, I was gonna say, we don't have aggro on me, but we, we kind of do. I've got- <laughs> I've got a good bit of the pearls. There's an alpha up there somewhere. Hey, well, let's go back down through here. We should be able to lose them down here. It's a tunnel. Awesome looking tunnel! Look at all this, man. Should have built in here. Just saying. Fantastic looking area. Very small cave in there you could build in. There was a leads over here. Scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a squid. Did they lose us? They did. Let's get up here and see how many we got. But do this underwater area. Oh man, it looks so nice, man. 
So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got twelve hundred, so we're a little over halfway there. And then base is right here. There's a whole bunch here too. So I'll tell you what, we'll just grab what's right here. We'll go back, make those saddles. I forgot fins, man. Kinda sucks. Very slow swimming. We'll go back to base, make what we can, and then I'll farm the rest off camera. Just because the uh <laughs> the Moses, man. I do not want to have any problems with those guys today. Grab this last one. There we go, that should be about 1400 or so. That'll work out. Alright, back in we go. Let's go ahead and grab you. Do our slow swim back down here. We'll grab Wingman and then go back topside. Buddy, I do not want you swimming outside the force field. There are Moses right over there. It is not safe. I'm just saying. What are we stuck on? There we go. Why? Why can we not walk today? Are we having issues? I am stuck on everything. It's like I'm below the ground. Alright, so. Anyways. Put you in there. And you in there. Jump over everything. <laughs> it's kind of buggy, man. I can't even... There we go. All right, textures please load. There we go, thank you very much. Let's do that. Let's leave Junior over here. Wanna take those back off and put your normal hat on now? Just saying. Leave those in there. There we go. All right, man, relax. Dry your little wings out some. Let's, uh, let's throw these in here. And let's see what we can do on some saddles. That's, that's for something later on. Doing some testing. So let's see, can we do... Can we do the 20? We can! Oh, fantastic! Okay, well, that kind of works out. Now, where's the blueprint at? Nice, man, nice! Oh, that makes me feel better. I thought I'd have to go back down and get some more pearls. Maybe I did my math wrong. It happens. It, <laughs> it happens. I'm gonna keep the gator... Ah, I'll just take one. I need to put some teams from here down below, so we don't have to worry about forgetting them. I'll probably put the Gator, probably the Moza. I'll have to see where the Pleasy's at. We'll have to check whenever we go over to Lost Island, see if he's over there. Good possibility. Let's drop this into here. We don't need that. So somebody left me a comment about using the jump pads and putting those underneath the base just to make it look like they're kind of hovering instead of using the pillar. So we'll do some testing with that. And then these are for... We might make another window inside the base. Another comment somebody left me. We'll do that when we do the renovation. I was just trying to get some stuff ready for testing. So there's all the saddles. I'll have to throw out all of the UDs. We'll go ahead and move these over there into the... I can carry them all. Into the soul terminal? I don't think I can. I can't. And I'll get all of them thrown out, we'll get the saddles on, I'll get some levels into them, and then we'll be ready for the boss fight, probably in the next video. I got everything else that we need to be able to do it. I'm glad these things are so cheap, man. Oh, dude, it makes it so much easier when the saddles aren't super expensive. We really lucked out with that blueprint. It's kind of an all-over-the-place day. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I kind of like it, man. It's nice. Changes it up a bit. And let's do one last thing before we go. I think we'll just do three. I think three will be fine. I think we have a hitching post over here, too. We do? Put this one right here. And I think these guys are on wandering still. Let's turn off wandering. And then we'll try to attach them to the hitching post. The thing that sucks is trying to get these guys all level. Took me forever to get those guys right there kind of lined up. Wrong button. I think three will be fine. If we do four, it's going to stick out too far. So that's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and hitch him up. Turn wandering back on. Go 
Cool, and that'll be a little bit more cement paste for us. I'll probably have to... It's gonna bug me they're not all in a line. <laughs> I gotta pick them all up, and then throw them all back out. I just kinda throw them out while I'm doing side strafe, and that way they all kinda get in line. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. A little bit of all over the place. We got our UDs all set for the boss fight. We'll probably do that in the next one. That's the brood mother. And then we've got our mutations we took a look at. We went down and played around a little bit down below with the, <laughs> the Mosas. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.